The stress level isn't just high for adults. It's affecting kids too. We talk to a child psychotherapist about ways to help your kids cope. That's next on More. Well, stress and anger are common experiences in our lives. Unfortunately, children today have more stressors than ever and in need of tools to help them cope, to help us with that and give us some fun ways to provide those tools for our children is child psychotherapist Jeanette Yoff joining us now. Thank you so much for uh, being here with us. Uh, as an adult, it's been tough for so many uh, dealing with everything that's going on as a result of this pandemic. I can't even imagine what our kids are going through. Oh, yes, yes. It's very stressful for kids and parents today. So it's really important for families to learn coping skills and be able to teach their children coping skills. And just as much as we're focusing on our personal hygiene, mental health hygiene is just so as, as important. So I'm going to share with you the three coping skills bags that I do with children and their families. So the first bag is the stress bag, and all you need is a durable bag to hold the coping skills, and I'm going to show you go in here. So I write on the bag things to do when I feel stressed to help me calm and catch my breath, things to do when I feel angry to help me calm the pain inside me, and things to do when I feel sad to help my broken heart feel glad. So it's, and the, and the children can write whatever they want on their bag. But you know what? To identify, yeah. Those are such important sayings. That you probably heard me go, ah, oh, that was my my first reaction to go, oh, because I know um, my nephews and nieces are missing out on, on so many uh, milestone events, and it's been sad to, it's broken my heart to see them be so sad. So let's talk about what's in those bags and how we can keep those yeah. kids. I love that it's visual, it's interactive, and the kids can do it yeah. with their parents or siblings. Exactly. And when parents teach this to kids, they learn it 85 times more, which is fantastic. Parents need these skills too. So in each of the bags, there's three common skills, and that's paper to draw with crayons, Play-Doh, and, and paper to rip. So in each of the bags. Then in each different bag, there are a few different pieces. For the stress bag, because stress has no boundaries and no. Where their feelings begin. So I, sensory socks, they're like big body socks that they go in, and you can see in the picture here, and they can push, pull, regulate their bodies, regulate their affect, their emotions, and feel a sense of relief. And then for the anger bag, we, we have paper to rip. So you open up, you get any phone book of any kind, and you, uh, you're going to teach the child I statement. So I feel, I feel sad, I feel mad, I feel scared. And rip some paper from the book, say these I statements out loud. I feel really mad because I can't go back to school and see my friends. And you rip up the paper. Now the parent is the one who picks up all the feelings, can go and see the feelings with the child, so they know that there's someone out there holding and containing these feelings with them. So even as parents, when they come to see me, they go, Jeanette, can I come back and can you do this for me? Because parents also may not receive communicating better. So we put the feelings in either a pillowcase or a box so the child knows they're feeling held. And then there's coping skills. Doctor, we're having some technical issues. Anger busters and sad busters. Uh, technical oh. issues right now. So we want to make sure that people go to your website. Where can we get more information? Because, again, these tools are so important to help our kids' stress coping yes. skills, help them out right now. Where can we go? Doc, yes. So you can go to my Just Chill YouTube channel for kids and my yachttherapy.com website. It has issue in there. Dr. Yaw, thank you so much. We appreciate you. You have a wonderful day and stay safe. All right, Alyssa, over to you.